Hello, Crestview Elementary School. Welcome back to the Reading Corner. I have another great story for us this week. So come along and join me for our story this week. Our story this week is going to be Snowmen at Night. So let's get right to it. One wintry day, I made a snowman round and tall. The next day, when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He looked really a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all of the others, sipping cups of ice-cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other until they fall down. They gather up their snowballs, the pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight, with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's greatest thrill. Finally, they tuckered out and getting sleepy, so they slowly gather up their things, and one by one they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked, or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. The end. Well, it's fun to think about what snowmen might do at night. Now, we can't build snow right now, but maybe this winter we'll have a chance to see some more snowmen built around Carlisle. I hope you enjoyed this story, and thanks again for joining me here at the Reading Corner for another story here at your Crestview Library. I hope everyone has a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week for another story. See you, Crestview!